This is Fragpunk, a new fast paced 5v5 hero shooter with power up cards that changes the rules of combat. Choose your hero, treat your weapon loadout, and pick from a selection of cards that changes every round to gain the upper hand against your opponent. And if I had to say, this game has been absolutely a blast to play. Now, I got in really late, but I've seen Shroud play it, and I was like, I need to get into it. So I requested access on Steam, and it has been a freaking blast to play this damn game. It's like playing Valorant with Apex and Call of Duty and Counter-Strike. It's all these mix of genres that we know and love that feels like just so good like really really good and i've been enjoying this game and there's just there's a lot to break down so first jumping into this what we got as well is the music choice a1 oh, already good and we have a big like straight up arsenal of lancers we already have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven lancers to choose from in a game with hero shooters that generally is a lot just starting out. Um, you also can just unlock them by playing games. You get in-game currency. You can buy them. It really is super easy. And it takes a while to learn their abilities and stuff like that and how you can use them in the games. So it really has been a lot of fun learning this game. I played a little bit before I played like the actual recordings of these matches just because i wanted to see how it was um as well as the weapon choices we've got like a remington r800 we have the auto shoddy that looks like it's from valorant we have the vector uh we've got almost a valorant looking gun i honestly it looks to me like an mpx and i am super excited for it if you guys know me i'm very much into an mpx uh i want to get one so bad and of course, we've got the M4, we got the AK, we got a QBZ, and we have this futuristic rail type machine gun, as well as some marksman rifles being like an SKS, and of course, our one shot are called the Resolver, and that is like the Op or the Operator in Valorant and Counter Strike. We've got an X13 and a Deagle, and we have utility guns featuring from grenades flashbangs, smokes, and of course, my all-time favorite is melees. And I mean, melees in this game is so much fun where you can dash at people for 150 damage, which completely KOs them, or you get 50 from each swipe. So generally, you can do an all-melee build, and we're going to have to do one uh, in, in one of these games. But if I can't, I can't. If I can't, I can't. Uh, we've also got a bunch of like shard cards where... We've got longer dashes, Eye of the Reaper, Chain Reaction, Dragon Breath, Cloaking Plant, Blade Master, which you get a freaking sword, which was super fun to use. So I hope you guys are excited. Now, let's get into the gameplay. Shotguns feel really good in this game. The submachine guns feel really good in this game. The assault rifles feel really good in this game. All in all, it's very balanced, I feel. The AK still it basically takes the counter-strike valorant format where you have the ak or you have the uh m4 variant the ak of course you hit a shot you know you do a shit ton of damage and could awfully kill so what we're playing right now is basically team deathmatch first to 100. Uh, so basically my character right here is basically someone that can like scan the field uh, I also have an invulnerable invisible uh, move and I have a bomb I tried uh, I played a little bit just to figure out what what this was I had no I, I had no idea it was just something like that was super out of the blue oh oh baby oh that was beautiful you got a head start don't 
Um, yeah, so it was, just, it was just something that was super, super out of, out of left field for me that I had no idea about whatsoever. Uh, I seen Shroud playing it. I was like, man, I really want to try that. So I played a little bit of it, trying to figure out what it was, and oh man, I love this game. It is so much fun. Um, it very, it takes very minimal like skill selling. You just got to figure out the maps and the guns and the abilities, just like it's Apex, uh, Call of Duty. It's really got a Call of Duty feel to it. What up? So, really, I mean, as long as you learn about the characters, learn about the gun control, it, is, it can be a really, really fun game. Man, we have these guys spawn controlled, boy. No way these guys are real. <laughs> no way these guys are real, right? Oh, that finally got me. Um, headshots feel marvelous. Like when you hit a headshot, you hit a headshot. Now, this is a 5v5 tactical hero shooter. Um, and we'll get into that a little bit later. I'm just kind of warming up. Oh, oh no, oh no. Um, and uh, what's really cool about this and the way they do it is basically you make your, you make your own rules um, using card mechanics like friends versus friends. And I think that's a really cool concept. Um, especially with all the movement that we have. I'm amazed, I'm amazed Smitty hasn't gotten to this. Can't go back into your spawn, bud. Oh, nope, I gotta reload. Oh. Um, so basically, all I've really used is the assault rifles and some machine guns. I just kind of wanted to talk to you guys about how it feels. Um, we got the basic M4, we have the AK, we have a submachine gun, and of course we have what looks like to be um, another sub. Why am I forgetting what the name is? Um, it's something I use a lot in most of my games. And of course we have a regular shotgun and an auto shotgun. We got a deagle. He is, woo! Damn. Okay, so shark class, we get two teams. You just shark cards uh, to make the rules of each match. The first team to win four rounds wins. Attackers win by planting. All right, so this is the 5v5 with the cards. 
check it out. This is going to be some fun right here. I've been having so much fun with this game, so it's like really been a nice change of pace from playing Apex or playing Call of Duty or just playing any shooter in general. Um, and it's just different. Is that the? Oh, that's her sniper. Okay, that's kind of cool. Fog of War. That sounds perfect for my character because I can I can see them. Oh, I didn't see him on the left. So me and my team we went three v three, which ultimately put us in what's called a one v one duel. So basically, what happens is we one v one. A winner goes on to the next round and fights the next opponent and basically you do this until you wipe the other enemy team this was such a good rendition to the game and i think it really keeps up the competitive nature so check it out guys this thing is awesome all right all right here we go 1v1 sniper versus sniper Oh, what a sniper to the shotgun fight. Meteora, you're up. Don't get hungry. Stand by oh, you have to get through the whole team. OK, that's a cool concept. Oh, <laughs> okay. Okay, that's kind of cool. This is a, this is a really cool concept. Oh, she won with the sniper. I I don't like this character's voice. Nice. This is a really cool concept. So it's 1v1 and you, you basically keep going till you finish the other team. I think this would just be a cool concept as the thing regardless. Okay, that is sick as fuck.
Oh, okay. I pushed out way too early there. I pushed out way too early there. Okay, that is such a unique ability. I, I really, really like that. If you're fast enough, you can really just fuck with them so bad. Blank right now. Oh my, the vector. Let's go. One left. Oh, I love when I can go aggressive. Need your cherry bombs. Nice. No way. Nice. Oh. Oh, that was nice. Okay, she had a really good, really good strategy. Was just stay in her healing and fucking fight. No, sweet. Yeah, this game. This game's a lot of fun.